Uh, this is Convo by Design. Uh, we're at the Pasadena Showcase House for the Arts. Uh, now in its 52nd year, this design house, 30,000 guests come through annually, which is absolutely remarkable. We are with Samantha Williams and Cynthia Lambakis of Adara Design. You two have been together as, a, as design partners since 2012. Correct. And you're doing the master bedroom here, the master suite. Yes, it's a very exciting. This is our third consecutive showcase house for the Pasadena Showcase. Uh, the first year we did a really tiny room, a bedroom on the second floor. Last year we did the kitchen, and now we're doing the master suite, which is a total of 1,500 square feet. It's very like exciting. This. Do you do you pitch them? Do they pitch you? How does it work? Good question. So there's a walkthrough, usually the end of October or early November, and designers are invited to come and see the house, and you're given a floor plan of the, uh, the house and a description of what the rooms are going to be used for on the tour, such as the grandparent suite or the writer's room, so you know what the intention of that space is. And you submit your first three choices with a written description of your design concept and a drawing of your uh, proposed design, and that's all due within 24 hours of seeing the house. Do they give you a synopsis of the owners and their lifestyle? Do you get to talk to them? No, we don't talk to the owners at all, but we are given a color palette to work with. Um, and we always try to keep with the character of the house that we're working on as far as the architecture and in our design. Yeah. This year, um, Dunn Edwards has always been the paint sponsor for the Pasadena Showcase House. And I really love the palette this year because it's a really true historic color palette from the new Dunn Edwards historic color collection. And so we're really excited to be using colors that would have been traditionally used 100 years ago in a house like this. That, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. As designers, though, you're, you're, you're creatives. You're artistic. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm going to imagine that you the more information you have about the people who are actually using this space, the more, the more you, can, you can plan it out for them. Mm -hmm. In the absence of that, how did you approach this job? The master, the master suite is, this is a living space. This is, this is a sanctuary. How did, how did you approach it? For us, it was a little different this year. We did quite a bit of uh, construction, and when you're doing a lot of construction and changing the floor plan, the owners are a little bit more involved because ultimately you're changing their house in ways that cannot be easily changed back. So we did work with the owners on figuring out what was a good floor plan for them and what was a design we felt like we could really work with as well. One of their requirements was having a his and her bath, which led us to that decision. We had started with one really large bath, and um, through talking with them, found that that would be a better um, scenario for their needs. And so uh, they were a little bit involved in our process this year. Hello. 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 